Hello everyone, this is Ross here for Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're taking a look at Thimbleweed Park. This is developed and published by Terrible Toy Box. It's going to be available on the Xbox Store on the 30th of March 2017. Right, so Thimbleweed Park is a 2D point and click adventure game from the minds behind games such as Monkey Island. Well, so with all that said, let's jump into it and take a look at what it's all about. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Okay, so I'm getting some on-screen text to tell us to use the D-pad, select open, and use the right bumper and left stick to select gate. So, um, was that open? Open. I will get it right. Open. Open the gate. There we go. <laughs> right. Um, let's talk to this guy. I get some dialogue choices as well. So um, let's go for. Have you seen anyone? I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Sober yeah, sober up. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. I have to go. Sleep well. Okay. All right. So that. No, there. Look at no. I see it's shaking on screen. So I take it we need to look at it. Um. So Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere. So follow these steps precisely. If we're in protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the Trestle Trail Bridge. Um, th number three and number four aren't ticked, so that's what we've got to do next. So turn off the light above the Trestle Trail sign, so I know you have arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you are not followed. Okay, so let's go back. I'm pretty sure we saw that in the opening cutscene, that Trestle Trail sign. Yeah, there, so... Let's look at look at the sign. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. Um, so at the top there is telling us to select the rock. So let's pick up the rock. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know. I'm, I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. And use the rock with the light. Should I do not see it. a way to turn it off. Okay. What's that? Use use rock on light. There we go. That's one way to turn it off. <laughs> there, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Let's keep going this way. in the face. Nice. <laughs> None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night or how much it would change us all. Okay. 
So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Okay, so... Uh, what's that? Use the left or right triggers to switch between characters. Oh, okay, so we get to play as both characters, right. So... I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates yeah, any further. Yeah, we need to photograph the body. So, use... Ugh, no. That's disgusting. <laughs> use the Polaroid camera on the corpse. Hmm, there's no there. film in the camera. Right, but the other character... Let's see, yeah. So... Give. I choose give. Polaroid film to. Oh, I love carrying stuff. There we go. If we switch to him, we can use the Polaroid film and the camera, and then use the camera on the corpse. There we go. Smile. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Okay, so... So quick look at the notebook. Um, since that was wiggling away there. So just writing down all the notes that he was uh, talking about earlier. Okay, so that's that. Um, so let's go this way then and head into the town. Uh, open gate. Right. So where's the other character not come? Okay, we well, gotta take them both. Right. Oh, she's got a notepad as well. So I'll look at that. Pretty much the same stuff then. Um, yeah, let's go up there. So let's look at that. Look at. Tuna it's an can. empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts. Well, should we pick it up? Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, let's go this way. Double tap A to run. Okay. What the hell was that? Ooh. Something about a flyer on the floor. Let's pick that up. Circus flyer. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. Okay. Signals are very strong tonight. What the hell? Dressed up as pigeon, pigeon brothers plumbing. Uh, yeah. Why are you why dressed, are like, you dressed giant pigeon? like a giant pigeon? <laughs> We're the pigeon brothers plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there. But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Uh, brothers, but your sisters. What? Brothers, what? if you're sisters. Dad was expecting to have sons, and then he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. <laughs> what signals? What signals? <laughs> the signals. Signals are very strong tonight. 
Yes, you already okay. said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Okay. <laughs> you almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. You show up about the signals already. Uh, I think I've had enough of you. I need to find a sheriff and solve I a murder. I think I've yeah. had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Beep. Beep. Squeak. What a pair of weirdos. Let's go this way. Timberweed Cemetery. Um, let's just go into the town, aren't we, to find a sheriff? What's the town? There we go. For me. Oh, so you don't got to move both of them all the time. They do catch up with each other. Okay. All right. Well, let's have a look here. Uh, water sign. I suppose we we'll have to look at it. Really, look at the sign. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Okay. Hi, is the sheriff? Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. <laughs> Is that what you are, Feds? Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> okay, right, what do we say to him? Uh, I'm, I'm Ray. Agent Ray, and this is, um, my partner. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <laughs> Reminds me of Ned Flanders. <laughs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only going to get longer. <laughs> Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. Okay. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? <laughs> it should be uh, allowed to shoot people arenos, definitely. Uh, open the coroner's door. There we go. Let's go and see the coroner. Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. Ooh, I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain a who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Alright. So tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Okay. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. 
Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk who crack me up. <laughs> Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Um, yeah, aren't you the sheriff Areno? Aren't you the sheriff Areno? <laughs> Oh, like I him. know. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. <laughs> right, yeah, we've heard enough. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. <laughs> okay. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Yeah, let's talk to the Blood Tron. Let's ask it, what is 2 plus 2? Four. 4, okay. Describe your primary function. Oh. I clicked on the wrong thing there. <laughs> I wanted to ask him what his primary function was. The primary function of the Blood Tron 3000. Trademark patent pending is to analyze the blood sample and the bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. Okay, right. Time Locked to look off. off. So let's have a look. Um, should we go and see the sheriff? Let's go and open his door. Have a quick chat to him. Uh, open door, please. That would be good. Open. Door. There we go. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. Um, yeah, that's some very serious computing power you've got that's there. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Okay, right. Well, you know the coroner. Uh, uh, you, I mean, the coroner said something about the arrestron. Right? You, I mean, uh, the coroner said something about the arrestron. Yes, the arrestron three thousand. The last step in a fully computerized arena arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction arena. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by a computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer of Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Yeah, all right. So what I'm going to do on that note, because I don't want to spoil the game anymore for anybody, so uh, we're going to leave the video there for today. Um, yeah, so this has been a quick look at Thimbleweed Park. I hope the videos give you a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like and what it plays like. And if it has, please leave a like on it. Uh, don't forget to check the game out when it is available on the 30th of March. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you soon.